Hi, my name is Megan Hawes. I am a ninth grade physical education teacher here at Madera High School. So I'm going to give you a little overview of what we're doing in PE. Whatever period your child is in, everybody is doing the same thing. So if they click on their Google Classroom, it's going to take them here. There is a, an announcement. Okay, no late work for your kiddos will be accepted two weeks after the due date. So everything has to be turned in within those two weeks. And all work is technically due on the date it's assigned, but they have two weeks after that date to get stuff in. So once they come over here to classwork, they'll find everything they need right here in this stream. Under class information, there is helpful stuff. If, you, if they open up this Bitmoji classroom, there's every link they could possibly want. This is a typical day schedule. Our grading policy here, 40% classwork, so that's everything we do in class between fitness, our edgenuity assignments that will come a little later. We have nutrition assignments going on and there's a check-in and a check-out every day. 30% will be tests and quizzes. So we'll choose three to four fitness activities throughout the semester that will be scored as a test. And then when we get into edgenuity, there are tests in there as well. 30% is their homework and that is every Wednesday. They are assigned ed puzzles, one to two of those, and a believe in you video and assignment. So that is what our grading looks like. There is a healthy eating website that we will use. Eat Fresh is what we are using right now. So your kids are logging in here. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, they're going into this mini course and they are completing each of these modules. There's three of them. And each of these is a link to different information. And they're in Google Classroom as you can see, Eat Fresh 1.1, 1.2 goes with all of those modules and sections. Our office hours are here for PE. We are in our office or on Zoom from 2.45 to 3.30 every Wednesday. The Zoom meeting link for those office hours is here along with the meeting ID and code. If your child is absent, Okay, first they need to go back to Google Classroom and complete all the assignments except the fitness video listed under the date that they were absent. And then second, they, there's no way for them to do the fitness video on their own. So they will need to contact myself via email to let, them, to let me know what date they were absent so that we can schedule a makeup Zoom session to complete that fitness assignment. So our makeup Zooms will take place on Wednesdays because that's when none of us have class. We are also going to be using Edpuzzle. That's what they will be doing on Wednesdays. Okay, it looks, we'll assign them a video. They'll go through and answer questions along with the video. Bell schedule is here if your kiddos ever need to see that or yourself. Office hours again are here. So PE is down here 2.45 to 3.30. They don't have to log on to Zoom on Wednesdays, just Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Our syllabus is also located here. I went through it with your kids. The main thing is, well, my email is right here. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. We are also on Parent Square. You can get a hold of me there. Big thing with the syllabus is that your kids are still in class, so school rules still apply. There are consequences for their actions. And we are putting a lot on the student to get in touch with us if they're missing something or if they have questions. So a lot of responsibility falls back on them. Um, we are all, I am available all week via email, Parent Square. They can try calling the school and having them patch it through to our office, but our phone is not the best. We want to make sure that they're doing all their own work. So the Eat Fresh assignments, nutrition assignments, check-ins, check-outs, we want to make sure that your student is actually the one doing the work so that they're the ones absorbing the information. Fitness, again, they do have to have their video on in order for me to know that they're actually completing the assignment that we are doing. We are not asking for perfection in those videos. We are just asking that they continue to be moving and that we can see them at all times. So that can be found here. Zoom expectations, same thing. Okay, they need to be logged in. Their video should be on the whole time. For PE specifically, it has to be on during the fitness portion for them to earn points. 
they are still in school, so there shouldn't be any profanity. They should only use the chat box for school information. And they do need to be wearing apparel that they can move around in. So that is here. Again, that is the Bitmoji Classroom under our class information helpful stuff. Our Zoom link is also located here. It's the same Zoom link for every day. So period one has their own Zoom link, period two, period three, etc. But it does not change from day to day. And then as you can see, there are different topics here. So August 19th, if your child was absent that day, they can go back to August 19th and see exactly what they missed and see what assignments they do have to do. There is a video for that day, so they would have to contact myself to schedule an appointment. August 2021, same thing. We did school-wide information. There was a check-in. We did a fitness video. It looks a little bit like this. Motion as deep of a squat as is comfortable. Nice hard push forward. So your child be, would be watching this video and participating in the activity with the rest of the class and earning their points. And it's the same schedule for every day. We do that check-in. We'll do the fitness video right after. They have a couple nutrition assignments and then a check out. So again, the easiest way for you to get a hold of me is via email. We are excited to be back in school, but we're very much looking forward to actually being back on campus. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, my name is Megan Haas. Go Coyotes!